And first of all, I want to say we understand the concerns. We get it. The president uh, did not have a great night, as you all know, and many of you reached out during the the, uh, the debate. Uh, the president had a cold. He had a hoarse voice. You all heard it. That's why you reached out. But I will say this, and the president said this uh, over the past couple of days, certainly right after the debate. He knows how to do the job, and he knows how to do the job, not because he says it, because his record proves it. Joe Biden is a person, take away uh, his title. He is someone who has dealt with tragedy. He is someone who has confronted that head on. He is someone who knows how to get back down, up once you've been knocked down. That is something that he understands very, very well. And I think, and we believe, that's something that many of Americans across the country understand as well. We understand we're not taking away from what you all saw or what the American people saw. We understand it was a bad night. It is not uncommon for incumbents to have a bad night on their first debate. Pelosi said it's a legitimate question to ask if this is an episode or is this is a condition. Which one is it? Uh, I would not see this as an episode. Uh, I would see this as what it was and what we believe it to be, which is it was a bad night. So look, I will say that the president is looking forward. Uh, certainly to hosting the leaders of our 31 NATO allies. As you know, two additional, uh, two additional countries have, done, uh, have joined NATO, and that's because, again, of the president's leadership. Does President Biden, at 81 years old, have Alzheimer's, any form of dementia, or degenerative illness <coughs> that will <coughs> cause these sorts of lapses? And it's a yes or no question. And if you don't know, why don't you, as one of his senior staff members, know? The, the I have an answer for you. Are you ready for yes. it? Yes. It's a no. And I hope you're asking the other guy the same exact question. We want to turn the page on this. Uh, and we want to turn the page for the American people as well, because we know that they need to see him out there. He's going to continue to be out there. He has been. And we understand how important that is. And so we're going to turn the page. We're going to get out, uh, get out there uh, across the country. Americans are going to see him for themselves.